Hello and welcome. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to start off really. What a day! Uh, it was a beautiful morning out there um, today. Uh, this morning, um, so much so that at the last minute, I thought, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not going to bother going to the gym today. That's that nice. I'm going to start running back on pavements. Uh, I guess it was a little earlier than I expected, but. In a way, it was kind of like a godsend, really, because um, I didn't. My performance wasn't actually that good, so you know that's given me perhaps you know an extra six weeks to build back to you know what I should actually be uh, achieving or, or what I want to achieve anyway. Um, uh, for those of you that um, haven't caught up on the video I posted yesterday. Uh, the video was about um, reducing injuries, uh, especially um, for people who stop running in the in the in the winter, or those that continue running but on a treadmill, and uh, you know going back to um, road running when it gets warmer. Uh, in that video, I actually said. Um, that it was all always safer to run um, a shorter distance um, when you first start out, you know. Uh, which for me, I said that I was going to do five miles to test my legs. Uh, now that I'm back from the run, I have to admit I'm pretty ashamed actually to say that um, five miles was a complete overestimation of my fitness. Um, well, it, it wasn't what I thought anyway, uh, as I'll elaborate now actually. Uh, I'm going to do the video a little bit different today, I'm kind of like doing a, um, some commentary over the top of an actual recorded run. Um, you'll see how it goes. Um, in, in the video I add like speed and pace and all that kind of stuff but, and I've not actually done that for quite a while now but anyway um, the long and the short of it what did I learn from a day's run well I learned um, that I'm nowhere near as fit as I want to be um, or where I should be um, while pushing uh, no uh, while planning to run five miles today the best I could manage without pushing my legs too hard was just three miles. Yeah, a shocker. Um, the most beneficial piece of information I gained from the run was um, how important it is to keep a close eye on VO2 max. Um, what would they call that? It's not VO2 uh, in endurance. Um, Stamina, VO2 max is kind of like, you know, gauging stamina. Um, which from November, because uh, I record, the, you know, my VO2 max all year round. Um, from November to January, when I wasn't running um, on the roads. And uh, for the three weeks that I didn't actually run any at all, uh, my VO2 max dropped from a personal high of 51 to 47. Um, I know that doesn't actually seem like much of a drop, but in terms of fitness, each VO2 max drop equates to about five miles for me. So something to remember really for next, you know, for the next winter. I think the plan for next winter, I'm gonna wrap up a lot warmer, but still go out and run in the cold. Um, yeah. Uh, pace was uh, acceptable, nothing special though. My best um, pace was uh, 9, 20, uh, 9 minutes 27 per mile, and my average pace was 11.50 per mile. Uh, so lots of work to do, but it, it's actually quite achievable. The, the 9.27, although that's like a couple of minutes off what, what I can do, 
it, uh, I know, you know, from previous um, um, experience that I'll be able, you know, get that back to seven within about six six weeks to two months. Uh, so ultimately, it's a good start, and I actually have plenty of room to improve. Um, I reset my PBs on Car uh, Garmin Connect, and it's here that we uh, see the drop in performance. As you can see on my website, um, the difference between treadmill running and road running is enormous at the moment. Um, yeah, as you, as you can see, um, I mean, I didn't actually run far enough, really, to kind of like uh, build a big picture. Uh, I, I didn't, didn't run five or ten k or even ten miles. Uh, I ran uh, one kilometer in five minutes and fifty-two seconds. And if you look at my uh, record on a treadmill, it's actually five eighteen. So you know, my one kilometer was wasn't bad, but my one mile was terrible. Um, because, as you can see, my one mile is actually, my record is seven minutes and 24. Uh, so that's three minutes off that. Uh, what else? Where was I? Um, so, lots of work to do in, in 2023. Um, following a somewhat disappointing return road running on the 2nd of February, having only been able to run three miles. Um, well, I'm happy that this discovery came early because it gives me plenty of time to rebuild back for May's first race. Uh, I'm doing the London 100, uh, my um, bike ride, um, bike race. Uh, so apart from poor performance issue, issues, it was great to get out there again. Uh, lots of runners about. Uh, it also gave me the opportunity to try out some new new gear and uh, get reacquainted some with uh, some you know loved gear. Um, in December, my oldest daughter uh, had an operation and, and she was fitted with medical grade com um, compression socks, which I tried today. Uh, not too much, uh, not much to report back, but. Um, I've ordered some pro quality med medical socks from Amazon, which I'll be testing as soon as I get them, basically. Um, I'm hoping that they'll come, what's it, Thursday? Yeah, uh, I'm hoping that they'll be here by tomorrow, and I'll maybe be able to test them Saturday morning. Um, I, I, I should actually say that I'll use this type of um, support to enhance blood flow, not because I suffer from bad circulation. Um, I, I actually already run in a pair of compression, um, you, well, you, you, yeah, tights, because they go up to, you know, me, top of my hip, like a, you know, a pair of trousers does. So yeah, I, I, I wear them now. But um, I found that my daughter's compression socks they come up to the knee were better because they were at, there was actually you could feel the compression and uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that that kind of blood will improve uh, blood flow uh, and more importantly reduce the possibility of getting you know bad injuries <clears throat> Um, today was also probably, hopefully, touch wood, the last day I'll be running in my Asics Nova Blast tr uh, three tr uh, shoes. Have now placed an order with Start Fitness for a brand new pair of Puma Velocity Nitro two shoes. Um, this order has actually been a long while coming, to be honest. Uh, I had to sift through many reviews, probably 20 or 30. Uh, and given that these were the, uh, the Velocity um, running shoes were, were more than half price of the Nova Blast 3, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm really hoping 
for really big things for, for me shoes. Uh, incidentally, I'll, the Nova Blast 3 shoes are currently retailing for about £130. Uh, and I actually managed to pick up a pair of Velocity 2s for £54.95, which uh, includes £4.95 for shipping. So the actual running shoes, which are, they're a cushion running, they're a cushion of daily running shoe, uh, actually only cost 50 quid. Um, but I'll keep you posted on that performance, or on their, on their performance. Um, I also expect an, un an unboxing and uh, first, first thoughts review uh, anytime soon. Um, as as uh, the same with um, the running socks that I'm getting. Um, I'm hoping that these shoes will be here tomorrow, or if not tomorrow, Saturday. So I won't be able to um, run in them until Monday, probably. Um, I was also pleasantly reminded how great my uh, Solomon Pulse running belt uh, is for daily running. Um, that's a great little. Uh, what have I done with it? Oh, yeah, see, look. Uh, great. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, there's only actually one pocket um, It goes through to there and I put my iPhone in that bit and uh, and then, I, no actually, I, I put my key in there first, my car key that is then I put my phone in there and then I put my MP3 player in it uh, you know, and that carries them perfectly There is actually a um, little bit at the back here and uh, when I'm doing like more than 10 miles this is where I'll actually put me um, me running gels um, yeah they go in there but um, it's not really very good for safety this, this pocket because it's not actually locked down it's more um, it's just elasticated and this bit here people will actually use these for um, walking sticks, you know, when they're doing ultra marathons, but I never do, I never, I've not done one of those yet. So yeah, that's great. I love that belt. Um, well, you know, it's ideal for short runs really, anything like kind of up to 20 miles and that'll, um, no, that's probably good up to about 13 miles actually, for me anyway. Uh, 20 miles and I'll have to use me, uh, vest. I don't know where that is. Um, with regard to the, the, the video, I've clipped it back to a manageable, manageable size, unlike like my previous like videos, which look, went for over an hour. Um, this will actually be the first time I'll run, uh, I'll, I'll run holding the, the camera and not wearing it in a harness. And uh, that's and uh, the results aren't as good as I hoped they were. Um, so what I've, I've done is I've had to like cut out all the rubbish, or whatever you want to say, or the stuff that's hard to look at. Uh, the, the video actually kicks off walk, uh, while I'm walking, uh, but that part doesn't actually show um, any speeds or anything, because I didn't actually start uh, me watch to record performance until I actually started running. Um, so you know, I, I decided to keep that bit, the walking bit in, just to say, like, you know, I do actually practice what I preach and walk before I run, <laughs> rather than stretch. So. Please bear in, also bear in mind uh, regarding the actual uh, running that I did actually have to stop to provide you know the commentary. Uh, even though I didn't, as you'll see, I didn't actually uh, keep the commentary from the video uh, because it needed so much editing. I mean, I can do it, but uh, I decided to take it out and you know create. 
separate commentary to the video. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, I'll be able to post more videos like this. Uh, probably better quality, because, you know, holding it isn't so good. It definitely gives better. It definitely shows um, videos uh, in better quality when I wear, like, the harness. Um, and so, you know, that's what I'm probably going to be doing again next time. Well, thanks for watching. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments below. Uh, it's lovely that you're still here watching me stuff. And I really do love it. Um, yeah. Thanks again. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.